everybody. Welcome to the show. I am so excited today because we are bringing our show live streamed from Melbourne, Australia to Boca Raton, Florida. And, um, and I, I'm so excited about this and I want to reach out to all of my new friends around the world. So thank you for joining in to our show. Um, I'd like to just uh, do a little brief message uh, or talk about myself for those who don't know me. Um, I'm Amy Ryshevsky, um, and I am uh, a self-taught artist, and I've been um, uh, lucky enough to have uh, had some opportunities to have my own studios and galleries, and, and now I have a really great um, spot here at the uh, Brooklyn Cafe with Amp Media Productions, where m my art is all around the, war the walls, and also they, we do a lot of sets with the with the pictures. As you can see, like there's one there, we change them up for different se different shows, and and a lot of different studios have art in it, and it's much more pleasing to the eye. Um, and I'm really grateful to have that opportunity. So I'd like to um, uh, talk about uh, being. Um, about 18 years ago, my husband and I had gone off to Canada on a business trip, and we fell in love with Quebec. And we uh, purchased a home there, and we've been going back there for 18 years now, and mostly summers. I mean, we've done some nice winter trips, but mostly in the summer where I am so into the nature and the foliage and, and uh, enjoy uh, the whole atmosphere. And, and it's where I really started to paint. And we would take um, some drives through um, different towns, and we have like <clears throat> highways that go through the different, I call them villages. And when, when you look to the right and left, um, as you're driving and you see a church steeple, you know that you've come to another town. So, and they're very quaint and French and wonderful. And um, I had a friend that offered me um, barn wood and to see if I wanted to use it. So I had it laid out in my garage. And one, one piece st uh, stands out, and there were, there were actually many of these pieces, but one stood out to me as I looked at it, and from an artistic eye, you know, you can see so many different things. And it was a long piece, and it had a long nose, and it reminded me of an alligator. So I went for it, and right in the middle where the eye would be, would be a little hole that was done there by nature, and it was a perfect spot for the hole. So then I, I would paint the rest of it, and I started to do a bunch of them for uh, really children's rooms. And I, I do know that a lot of adults had purchased them too. I don't know where they would put them, but they were, they were really fine and fun. So uh, the rest of the wood pieces, um, Got, I, I started to look at them and I was so influenced by the fact that the, um, the, the terrain of, of the cities, and the, which I love to still say villages, um, it really inspired me to start to paint um, my villages. So I have one right here. Um, I had brought it back from Canada, and as you can see, it's like a little road up, and then there's quaint little houses, and I, I did many of those. And when I got tired, um, and when I didn't get tired, I say when I went back to the States, um, it's very hard to find the barn wood, so I started to do it on canvases, and um, they, were, they were fun. They were like, you know, narrow and tall, and people put their villages on the walls, and it was really a lot of fun. And um, so... The reason that I'm really brought this up today, because I mean, I can talk about a lot of different mediums that, because I, I love um, to really get into um, different directions and you give me a challenge and I, I just, just jump on it. So I, I really, really love the fact that I'm telling you a story about why I was influenced with my villages. And, uh, and that really, I, I just want to um, point out that when um, you have a buyer or you have somebody that's attracted to your work and they're looking at it and they're trying, it's a very emotional thing for them to figure out if that's something they can live with, if they really love it. And if the artist is there or the create, curator, curator, thank you, um, is there to discuss the piece, it really makes a major connection with the, art, with the buyer and the artist. And I also mentioned a couple of times on, since I'm a, a late bloomer artist, um, I didn't learn till recently that how important it was to document your work. 
And as you, now with the new technology and the fabulous uh, cameras on our phones, uh, you could do videos and you could take shots as, as you're working on the piece. And when you finish with that, it is the most um, important piece of the authenticity of your work. So I really uh, like to you know, put that out there, and I've said it a few times on my show, but for anybody that is, uh, is new to the business, I think uh, it's real important that you start doing that. And the reason that I did discuss my villages is because I told you a story, which leads me to our guest today. And I'm so excited to have Wayne Elliott, and he will be coming on uh, after the commercial, after the commercial, <laughs> sneaky Wayne. And um, he, we've had so much fun getting to know each other. And he, his art is just amazing. And I have a feeling that he's going to tell you some really interesting stories. So we're going to do our commercial, and we're going to come back, and then we're going to give him a lot more time. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Come see Amy Ryshevsky, an artist here at the gallery. She has a plethora of art styles that will indeed captivate the human spirit, mind, body, and soul. From her vibrant pieces to her most shrouded pieces, come down and see Amy Ryshevsky. Come see Amy Ryshevsky, an artist here at the gallery. She has a plethora of art styles that will indeed captivate the human spirit, mind, body, and soul. From her vibrant pieces to her most shrouded pieces, come down and see Amy Ryshevsky. Welcome back, and I, I'd like to um, just uh, make a little announcement about my show next week because I'd like to give um, uh, Wayne a little more time. So we have Andres 
coming, Andreas is coming on next week, and we're going to have a floral show. He is an amazing artist, and he's going to be um, doing a, a, a floral arrangement to match one of my paintings. So I just wanted to put that out because we're going to get right into meeting Wayne. So when Wayne's ready to pop up, I'm going to say hello. There he is. Hey, Wayne. Welcome. Can you Good hear morning, okay? Elliot. Oh, there you are. We've, yes. had, we've had such a great time getting to know each other um, in the past couple weeks. And, um, and uh, how we met is, uh, it was interesting. And, and here we are today interviewing. So uh, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Um, so you want to just tell us a little bit about you and then we'll move on to talk about your wonderful art pieces. Um, so I'm a self-taught artist, or, or in Australia, I think the term is, is called naive. Um, it can be referred to many other terms, and you know, art naive and the outsider art in some terms, but essentially I'm a self-taught artist. Uh, who's been, I think we're the best uh, painting. <laughs> Sorry? I said the best artists are self-taught, because we have whatever. That's right, that's right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> So, so it's, it's a bit of, uh, you know, finding your own way. And uh, I, I was probably lucky. I had no art background, but uh, I ran into a friend who, who painted and uh, he suggested that I, that I continue as, as an artist. So uh, that was sort of how I got into art. So, yeah, it's and, been a great uh, journey. And I know that um, you've been painting all over the world and you've had followers from everywhere. And, uh, and, and that's really amazing. So um, let's, let's uh, talk about a little bit about your art. So we, we, we can put um, a, the first painting up and then we can start moving along with that. Okay, so go for it. <laughs> so that, yeah, so, that, so this is the painting behind me, which is, um, and I'm, I'm coming from, from New Melbourne, Australia. So uh, people may be familiar with Melbourne, Australia as a, as a bit of a sporting capital of the world. Uh, we've just had the Australian Open finish and, and this picture be, behind me here is, uh, or on the screen is, uh, is Melbourne, is the MCG, which is sort of the, the sporting hub uh, in Melbourne. So uh, we play Australian rules football, which is, which is different to American football, um, and it's very popular. This, this is a 1970 grand final, which is sort of an iconic event that happened whereby a team that was trailing at half time came back and, and won the game. It's, it's Carlton Collingwood. Uh, they're both very passionate football teams here in Australia, uh, in Melbourne. So. It, it's a painting that I've enjoyed making. Yeah, it's good that you had it behind you because it's more detailed um, than than what I think we can see down below. But um, I so you, the reason why um, um, I you'll, you'll see as we move on to your next paintings on the images. Yeah, like okay, so that one is go for it, and I'll and I'll, I'll continue yeah, so, my so thought. This, yeah, so this is in uh, this is the Paris Roubaix, which is a really uh, famous cycling race in, in Europe and uh, I happened to be in in France at the time and uh, an Australian won the race so uh, it was it was an amazing to watch uh, and it's got a lot of history that goes back a long time it, it's raced on cobblestones through oh, really? the villages so uh, it's 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 an incredible event whereby and lots of times they don't make it to the finish but uh, yes yeah, obviously the French uh, architecture and the, and the fields and the roads that sort of wind through and the cobblestone uh, race that it's on is very important. So, yeah, that's I, how that one, and it finishes in a stadium. Yeah. I, um, I, I love the, the fact that I, when I explained people, uh, to people about you, I said, oh, it's like he's flying over the image and he can look down on it and actually see it in his mind, right? And, and then paint it because most of your, your um, photographs of your paintings that we have today is that image that you're looking down and you and you depict yeah. every like little character and stonework and all these little men <laughs> and women and <laughs> yeah. yeah it's very I, cool I, I think I think it's I think it's creating a story so you're sort of trying to imagine yourself above the landscape or the event and then take in well what are the objects or what are the things that you want to include in that story that make up the story so it's sort of a it's a, it, it's a different way of seeing really um, how we do it. So it's a visualization that I've, I think I was brought up in a small country town uh, in, in the Western District in, uh, in Victoria, uh, near Melbourne, and uh, there was a volcano and I used to go up on top of the volcano and look down. So I think wow. in some ways that's perhaps influenced my view of the world because I, I climbed this volcano. So yeah, 
Yeah, and it's uh, it's a major niche that that you can have that that image, and uh, I I think it's it's a, a great asset to what you're doing. Um, so let's let's hey, look at another you. one. Okay, this one's really cool. Uh, this, this, this is Krakow in Poland. Uh, back in 2018, I, I took about 45 artists uh, to uh, Poland for an exhibition. Australia was the was the focus country. It's a, one of the biggest international art exhibitions in Europe. Really? Uh, and I think there were about 30,000 people through. Uh, and, and we got to show some really great Australian art in, in Europe. Uh, and while I was there, I, I traveled to Krakow and I was just amazed by Krakow. And obviously there's a lot of history in Poland. And this was an old city with a, with a new city on the outside with a road around and a garden where people could, you know, lawns where people could run. So. Once again, it's it's a narrative of a city that that I experienced. I was uh, in Krakow in 1987, and um, it was quite different. I mean, we didn't even have um, uh, paper products when we were there, and if you wanted a glass of water, they gave you it in the glass on the street. Um, and I mean, it was so different, and uh, it's just amazing to see the growth in Poland now and how um, the, the the cities have just grown and become what they are today and I must, I'm, it must have been a great experience to see it more modernized than what I would have remembered. So, yeah, um, no, it, was, it was great and, and, and the Polish people were very good in accepting you know, the Australian artists over there and promoting us. So uh, I was in Katowice uh, in Poland, the Art Naive Festival, which I have, have every year. So, yeah. Oh, it's every year? The festival? Every year, yep. Yeah, well, I guess not yep, right yep. now. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, how, how's the COVID in Australia? Uh, we, we, we came out of lockdown about five days, uh, five or six days ago. We'd been in a five-day lockdown. Um, mm -hmm. But I must say here, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's under control as much as it can be. So, um, you know, and I feel for obviously everyone in the world in terms of what's going on at the moment. So, uh, do, you um, have, do you have the injections now? Are people getting shots They've yet? just started rolling them out this week. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So hopefully that'll go pretty fast. But, you know, I know um, y your guidelines are very strict, so you can really nip it in the butt. You know, I know you were down 112 days once, and uh, yeah. right? And, and now, um, you know, hopefully everybody, maybe by the t t end of the year, we can all be back to who we were supposed to be and where we wa want to go. Because <laughs> I would love to get no, back. I, I, oh, I, I'd love to get back to Australia, for sure. Um, <laughs> that was a marvelous trip. Okay, so let's take another peek at another photo. Uh, yeah, so th this is up in the, the, the Northern Territory. So this is in the middle of Australia, in Central Australia, where it, it's, it's mainly desert. Um, and I had the opportunity, some of the artists that I took to Poland, uh, indigenous artists were from this area in Tennant Creek, uh, Barclay Arts. And I, and I had the opportunity to go up there and paint with the local artists and, and work with them. So it was a great opportunity. So this is one of the paintings that, that's come out of there. It's, it's basically about the landscape and you know, the sort of things that appear in the landscape. Uh -huh. uh, and, and yeah. What, and, and, this, this um, was, were you teaching them how to paint? No, we're just working with them. So th they paint in a similar style. They're a self-taught self -taught artist. Uh, and we just go out into areas and paint together. So it was more or less just group painting out in, out in, out in the landscape. So um, each person had their own style uh, and, and we just went off and it was more about as a, as a community painting in, 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 the, in the desert. Yeah. Um, because it's more desert-like, I mean, it, when, they, when they're painting, are they adding any foliage or anything? Is everything just dry looking uh, desert fields yeah. or are they um, a little it, more creative? It's dry, I mean, the, the dry, but there's uh, like small trees um, that are in the area. So like it, there is foliage, it's not, it's not basically just desert, bare okay. desert, which you may imagine it is. Yeah. It's, not, it's quite rocky up around there, um, sort of red rocks and, and, and things, a lot of mining around that area. So it's not it's not it's not basically flat with nothing there. Okay, all right. So um, so you're 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 you're. It's hard for me to really see it from here, but the um, those are are those trees and stuff on the mountains, or they're just um, what, yeah, what they're, you... they're, they're small. The small trees and rocks, and in the background rocks. there's more foliage, like a okay. sort of forest okay. out. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the uh, most um, favorite city that you've gone to that you painted or you, uh, know, you did a painting of in, in the world 
Yeah, a lot. Yeah, lo you got a big world right. there. Yeah, pra Prague. Prague is very nice. Um, I must say that uh, in in, uh, in Quebec, uh, I've been lucky to go to this little small town in Quebec, uh, Magog, which has a, a museum, which I have a painting in in, in Canada in Quebec, um, and that, and it's a it's a marvelous little village, and the and the people there looked after me at the museum. So I've been there, and and and, and yeah. And what what, what city is that in Quebec? M A G O G, Magog. Oh, okay. So it's maybe west of Montreal? I'm just trying to picture where it would be. Uh, I went from Montreal towards in the US border. It's just oh, inside okay. the US. Oh, okay. It's on it's, the border. It's on a lake. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, I have a lot of Canadian yeah. friends watching, so um, I just wanted to bring that up too. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, <laughs> give, I'll give Quebec a big plug. I, I, love, I love it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I fell in love with Quebec. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, go to another one. Ah, okay. So, so this is yeah, this is Bali. So uh, I went to Bali some years ago, and um, uh, this friend took me. Her uh, her husband. Uh, he lived in a small village in, in Ubud, uh, and they had the full moon ceremony. So I had the opportunity to go with the family to the to the full moon ceremony, which I was very lucky to be able to do. Um, so once again, it's like like your work, Amy. It's a small village. Um, <laughs> That's why temples. I did it. <laughs> Yeah, so so obviously uh, Bali, each little each 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 town or each house has its own temple, but there's also a community temple. So um, for the big ceremonies like the full moon cere uh, full moon ceremony, this, this happened there. So I went to that. So this is a, a story of that with the rice fields uh, and everything else. So yeah. Well, that's a great experience. Um, so they're little houses with their own little temples and their rice little. They grow rice all around them. And, um, Correct. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so, did you um, learn? Uh, a, 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 well, it helped you learn a different style of for the painting because of the little huts and stuff. So, I mean, like everything influ think, influences think... you to um, to you know show you show how you feel about where you were. Um, and that's yeah. And that's... I, I think I think it yeah, it's, it's that immersion in the landscape or that you know where you're walking through the landscape or like you driving through the landscape. I think that's a really important part of, of taking a bit like a sponge. You're taking everything in and then in your own mind, you try and conceptualize, well, how do I represent this on a canvas? So essentially that's what, that's what I do. Yeah, that's the perfect way. <laughs> All right, do we have another one? Oh, we do, okay. So, so you have some writing so on this one. one. That, yeah, so, so this is part of my process. So in terms of, you know, if, if I'm out in the landscape, how do I, work out what the painting may look what work. So this is sort of what I call a thumbnail sketch. Okay. So I'll write notes on it, I'll do sketches, but this is a really important part of me moving through from from actually being in the landscape to actually creating the, the artwork in the end. This is sort of the middle ground. Yeah, I mean, because this one's, uh, so you're, this is your, your setup really, to, Correct. to yeah. formatting yeah. Your, your idea. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and where, where was this? Uh, that, that's the Bungle Bungles, which is a it's like they're little beehive structures, mountains in the Western Australia, uh, in the Pilbara, up right north of Northwest Western Australia. It's a magnificent place. Yeah, you know, if you ever get to go there, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a wonderful place. Yeah, I would really love to do that. <laughs> yeah, um, as far as uh, an artist, you know, um, going anywhere is so special to your imagination and. Um, uh, that that's the best part of, of traveling. So hopefully we'll all get to do that again real soon. Yes, um, true. So true. do you have? I know you have ma major awards and and um, so are you scheduled for any shows that when we get out of COVID, will you be in different countries again? Um, I've just come out of a. I was shortlisted for what's called the Pro Heart Art Prize in, in Broken Hill, which is a Sort of in an in a, in a outback area um, that was just recently, so uh, which I was very lucky. Um, and at the, currently, I have work at a, a gallery in Ocean Grove in, in Victoria, in Australia, here at, at the Hive. So they have my work on on exhibition all the time, which is it's a great gallery, and I'm very lucky to, to have it. So it's it's near Geelong. I live near Geelong, so oh, that's wonderful. I'm very lucky. Yeah. So, do you ever paint on um, you know, like a plain air kind of painting thing? Do you? Would you go to um, somewhere and just start painting, or you, you like to do it a little more privately? Yeah, it, 
it tends to start with sort of the one you got down the bottom there. That's where that's how I start it. I'll take photos, maybe do some videos, and I'll have these little sketches. But I have I have painted a whole painting on site, but most of the time, probably due to time, you tend to be making the sketches and then working, problem solving in your own mind. How how do I represent it? So I'm, I'm a big believer in the skills that art allow people to you know there's, there's communication there's problem solving um you know there's, there's teamwork in terms of some of the things that you're doing so i think art is a really powerful and has a lot of value um, for people you know to be able to use and develop themselves okay that sounds great uh, is there anything that you'd like to add to your story today because i love your stories <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I think I think for anyone, you know, if it, it, art uh, is is a wonderful medium to to obviously enjoy uh, when you're travelling and and just to take it up as a, as a pastime and enjoy it. And I think, you know, the process for me of, of creating art is, is probably really important. Is is the making side of it, and it's nice to have your final product. But I think that process of making and trying to think through, I think, is great. So I've been very lucky, and uh, thanks for the opportunity, and thanks for everyone for listening in. Uh, from around the world and, and taking the opportunity and, and you know, I hope we continue to promote art throughout the world. So thanks for the opportunity. Amy. Oh, it's my pleasure. And, you know, and when we see uh, your art, we know it's yours because it's so, so, so into uh, what, what your, where your mind is. And I, I, I absolutely adore the fact that we put this all together and, and we added stories. And as I said earlier in the show, stories is the biggest part of the piece and being influenced by it. So thank you so much, Wayne. It was just awesome to have you. And I hope we can keep our relationship uh, going uh, country to country. And uh, I look forward to, to doing some more stuff with you. And um, I appreciate everything. And thanks so much for being on the show today. And also, can you tell uh, everybody how to get in touch with you? Yes, so you can go to wayneelliotartist.com. Uh, in, in on my website or if you find me on social media uh, or even on the web the website's probably the best and it's got the links and everything there but is that wayne well w-a-y-n-e-l-l-e -L -L -E two did uh, i get yes, it right yes two dot, yes that's right two wow. l's two t's so my, right. my mind's yeah. working <laughs> that's <laughs> terrific <laughs> all right well um i'm going to continue on but i'm going to say goodbye and i really really i've had a blast getting ready for you and i've even worn my Australian pants. <laughs> <laughs> so Not see you nice later. Nice for you to get ca casual. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Bye, um, everyone. Bye. So um, that was a great show, and I, I just wanted to make a, an announcement, a special announcement. Um, in March 11th, you should mark your calendars because we have the um, world-renowned drummer, rock, rock fine artist, John Douglas, to appear. Um, there, there it is. And he's going to be appearing in Delray Beach. And we um, have the opportunity to have him on our show, and how lucky are we? And um, I'm so excited. So please, we're going to be on a Thursday that day. So uh, make note of it. And as you can see, the paintings on the uh, brochure here are um, John's paintings, and we'll get to see a lot more and hear a lot about him. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our show today, and I really look forward to next week when Andreas comes on, and we'll have a live demonstration. It'll be a lot of fun, and I'll see you next week. So have a wonderful, artful day. Bye.